Can you have lipedema if you have normal body weight? What are the most common symptoms of lipedema? And what is the best treatment option? In this video, you're gonna find out. My name is Dr. Alexey Markov. I'm a double board certified plastic surgeon. So what is lipedema? Lipedema is frequently underdiagnosed disorder of the subcutaneous fat or adipose tissue. And it's frequently characterized by abnormal deposits of fat, mostly in the lower extremities. Frequently it affects upper extremities as well and the buttocks. So people frequently will report that they have, no matter how hard they try to lose the weight, they have this abnormal fat deposit that seem to be resistant to any weight loss regimen, diet, or exercise. So even individuals with a normal body weight can have lipedema. As I said, the disease is frequently underdiagnosed, and there are several key symptoms that help you to, diag to make the diagnosis of lipedema. Frequently, people will report or the patients will report cosmetic concerns. The fat deposits that look abnormal, they always have heavier legs, heavier lower portion of the body. They look relatively skinny up top, but on the bottom of the body, you have a lot of abnormal, frequently lumpy looking uh, fat deposits. And in extreme cases, and can be really, really unsightly. Younger individuals with a normal body weight will always say, well, you know what? Uh, I look skinny everywhere else. I exercise five to six times a week, but I still cannot get rid of those cankles, those abnormal fat deposits around my knees. I cannot find appropriately fitting pants. I am unable to wear boots because they feel too tight in the calves. So that's frequently a first sign of the lipedema. Another symptom that's frequently reported uh, by the patients is pain. Uh, People report that uh, it hurts when you squeeze or even a minor bump will cause the discomfort and pain in the lower legs. This symptom is in the scientific world called allodynia. So basically hypersensitivity, even normal uh, stimulus will cause the patient pain. Nobody knows why it happens for sure, but there's a theory that uh, estrogen stimulation, this is an estrogen related disease, causes the enhanced transmission of the pain signals in the uh, in the nerves and even slight stimulation can be perceived as pain. Another symptom is easy bruising. Even a tiny little bump will cause excessive bruising. Even if you pinch the individual with the lipedema, they will frequently get a bruise in that exact spot. So easy bruising, low extremity fatigue. By the end of the day, the legs feel very, very heavy. Patients frequently are unable to like lift them. They feel swollen, they feel very uh, tired and heavy, that's also a sign of lipedema. In extreme cases and more advanced cases of lipedema, uh, this can uh, lead to mobility issues uh, and even osteoarthritis. If you have excessive fat deposits that put a lot of extra weight in your lower leg, a lot of extra strain on your uh, joints, yes, this can lead to osteoarthritis uh, down the line. So what causes lipedema? What are the uh, reasons why uh, it's a clinical diagnosis. There is no laboratory test that can show the lipedema. And the etiology is unknown, so nobody knows why it happens, but there are certain theories. And uh, um, we most frequently see this disease in females. So we know it's likely related to female hormones or estrogen. Uh, and it's hormone related because we know the progression of the disease usually happens during the teenage years, during pregnancies and uh, frequently during the menopause. So whenever you have the fluctuations in your hormone levels, especially in the estrogen, that's when the disease gets uh, worse. It also has a hereditary component, so it frequently runs in the families. Usually the daughter will come with the mom and they will both say, well, listen, our grandma also had very heavy, large legs and uh, she wasn't overweight, but she also had lipedema. And uh, now let's talk treatment. So uh, what are the best treatment options for lipedema? Well, uh, there are multiple modalities. Frequently we hear about the uh, deep tissue massage, certain creams, uh, lymphatic pumps, and all of those uh, uh, treatment options can help the, with the symptoms somewhat. However, the kind of gold standard nowadays and the treatment that offers the best symptom relief, although none of those options will cure lipedema, the best treatment option that provides the most durable, long-lasting symptom relief is the liposuction. Uh, in my practice, I perform a tumescent awake liposuction procedure. By a tumescent, uh, we mean injection of the solution that 
help to numb up the area so the solution has lidocaine. Also, uh, the solution contains epinephrine and adrenaline that helps to shrink the vessels and to extract, allows us to extract the fat with minimal blood loss. I like to perform the procedure awake because in my opinion, it streamlines the recovery. It, uh, it avoids the uh, need for general anesthesia. It avoids the risks of general anesthesia. And the uh, vast majority of the patients can tolerate it very, very well. They're usually very happy that the procedure is done away, keeps them in control, allows them to see the result. When, for example, when we perform the liposuction one extremity, they're able to see the difference between the two extremities, and that's very rewarding for them. And uh, uh, most importantly, at the end of the procedure, they get up and they start walking pretty much uh, immediately. So that helps to recover much faster from this procedure. So here we have it, guys. Uh, everything you need to know, the basics about the lipedema and the treatment of lipedema. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, click the like button, subscribe below, and uh, see you soon.